Hello everyone. Welcome to Ignite Coder. Today we are going to solve a coding challenge that was given by Jasper, which was offering at LP. This coding challenge was based on a distribution of a cake to the guest attending the party. Now let's understand the problem fully. A company is throwing a party. Each guest will have a cake with radius R based on their performance. But it would be unfair to give a cake without, with different sizes to the guests. So find the largest piece that can be given to all guests so that each guest gets only one piece and a piece cannot be cut into more pieces. It's a medium challenge. We should really always be ready to solve such challenges if you are looking for a job with 10 LP or more. So the first line contains number of guests. Next line contains n spaced integer with radius r. Okay. So we have sample input 5 which is the number of guests attending the party and we have radius of the each of their cakes. So how is this output 2.5? Before solving, you should understand the problem that what he's asking. He's asking for the largest piece that can be cut from each and every cake which can be given to the all five guests. So let's see how the answer is for 2.5. Yes, we need to get the five largest piece possible with the given radio input. When you divide 2.5 with each and every one, every radio of the input, you get like 1 by 2.5 is equal to 0, 2 by 2.5 is equal to 0, point something, but we take it as 0. When you do 2.3 by 2.5, you get 1.2, which means that one piece can be cut from three radius k. Same with the 5 where you can get 2 pieces and same with the 6 where you can get 2 more pieces. So 1 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Any number less than 2.5 will give us number greater than 5. Like it can be served guests more than 5. But any number with more than 2.5 will not be equal to 5. So we need to find such a number that less than that will give can serve more number of guests and more than that cannot serve the required guests. So how do we do that? A simple solution is binary search algorithm. If you don't know what is binary search I have put a link in description. Please go through the link. Pause the video, go through the link, then come back. The reason why we are using binary search is because we don't know the exact value for which we get the answer. We are using trial and error method. For that, binary search is the easiest and best method to do so. Now let's try to solve the problem step by step. In step 1, let's take some input from the user. You can use scanner, file input output reader, buffer reader, anything as you wish. I like to work on array list rather than array because array list is a dynamic array. So I copied all my input into the array list R. Then I'm passing it to the function called find largest piece where the actual operation occurs or happens. Now we have to write the function for the lar find largest piece. The simple way is to first in binary search all we need is low and high value and calculate the mid value. We keep on breaking breaking until we get the final value where we get low or high is equal to mid. We will take up to four decimals of mid value First, to get the high and low value, we sort the array list. 
after sorting obviously the first element in the array list would be lowest value and the last element would be the highest value so we take those two as low and high and we pass it to the p count count pi with the array list as well as low what p count does is it counts the pieces that can be made for a radius in r we have all radii and we are passing a low value which means the first value it will give us the final count like example in our example it will be 17 we will use a hash map to store key and value means radius and number of pieces the path for low value is equal to 1 we get the corresponding 17 as the answer that is the number of pieces that can be formed with. now let's implement the binary search algorithm in first step all we do is find the mid value and then we pass it to the count pi after that we will store the corresponding mid value and count value in our hash map as i told you to look for binary search algorithm if you don't know i hope you did even if not let me explain it quickly first we take the mid value and we pass it here if the p count is less than n that means the number of pieces we get is less than number of guests then we make high is mid beyond the mid we won't get any answer so we just neglect that else if p count is greater than or equal to n we make low as mid because we know that behind that there will be no values possible and we are checking a condition here if mid is equal to low or mid is equal to high this is because terminate the loop when we know the mid and low and high are equal it obviously means we got the answer let me explain then what count pi function does it simply we take a loop we divide each and every element of the radius with the mid value and the answer we get will be rounded off into int like 5 by 2.5 is equal to 5 by 3 is equal to 1 like that we get the all the values in and that will be equal to the number of pieces we get from that radius cake and we return it back here let's see how we map the corresponding values for each mid value we have almost 11 iterations and we found the answer that is 2.5 already discussed binary search algorithm we swap the values we make high as mid low as mid and we got the answer at 2.00 the loop terminates now we got the full hash map now what we need is find the highest value that satisfies the condition for that what we will do is store values which met the condition into a new array list so we'll add all the values possible answers what we call as into your final array list after that we need to find the highest radius by sorting then what we simply do is we sort and find the last element of the array list that we got the answer now the final and most important step this print the value of highest radius we got then you are done if you didn't understand much try watching again because if you know this how this thing work like when do i have to use binary uh, search why am i using we need to analyze it when you analyze when you get the similar problem you don't have to think hard scratch your brain and wasting so much time simply if you practice this solution whenever similar problems comes you know what to do so we complete the solution in a very quick time this was a medium problem but in our upcoming lessons we'll start from the basics if the basics are clear you know how to solve a problem even after trying for three four hours you'll finally able to solve the problem even if it might be the easiest with practice the time gets reduced you may solve in 15 20 30 minutes when the more you practice so thanks for watching guys see you in your next video which will be on basics of